What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, shout out to my client, Danny, um, a top producing retirement consultant um, out there in, in the beautiful city of Miami, Miami, Florida, crushing it, um, really helping seniors um, with retirement plans and strategies. So he's really taken over and really, really dominating that local area of Miami. But now another blessing of mine he found me on YouTube. So another shout out to another client coming to me from from YouTube, um, really learning how to how to how to really really just kind of fed up with with the typical organic marketing that 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 he's been doing forever that most have been doing forever just taking video content and putting it all over the place, posting it on on every damn platform when the majority of your audience may be in a local area, right? Shout out to Danny. Danny is that client. Danny's like. David, I don't want to post videos all over the place anymore. All I'm doing is getting people to follow me from all over the damn world. And none of these people are my potential clients. None of these people are in my local area. So shout out to Danny reaching out to me on YouTube and saying, David, teach me how to target my local area. Um, teach me how to put put these Facebook ads together. Teach me how to get thousands of views on these videos and, and teach me how to get more clients through social media marketing. So shout out to Danny. Today, I'm going to be taking them step by step, you guys, on how to run a Facebook video ad. And I highly encourage you to, 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 to do two different types of ads. Um, Leads, obviously, leads and sales. If if you're if you're obviously after leads and sales, right? So that would be a Facebook lead ad, going after making sales or going after simply capturing leads. Those are your 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 required ads, regardless, right? But what I also recommend is simply putting out maybe one or two awareness ads as well. So if you're looking at a thirty day period, I I always coach on running one lead ad, one Facebook lead ad every 15 days, right? So so day one of day 15, capture leads, make sales. Day 16 of day 30, run your second ad, run capture leads or make sales. But on top of that, when you're not really trying to just hardcore capture leads, um, and if your budget is a little bit more, what you want to do is run awareness ads, you guys. So rather than taking that video that you're putting on LinkedIn, that video that you're putting on, on Instagram, rather than just taking that organic post and put it all over the place. Take notes on this video, you guys. Take notes on today's video because I'm going to be walking him through step by step on how to simply take a few bucks and that same video, we're now going to run it under an under a Facebook awareness ad and get thousands of people to view his face, to view his brand, to see their company for the first time that live down the street where they're doing business, right? So if you're a local business owner or if you're just trying to target a specific state, Pay attention to today's video. This is an awareness ad, an, a Facebook awareness ad that you want to sprinkle in to your monthly marketing. So if you're if you're running two lead ads a month, two lead slash sales, you know, ads a month, this should be your third one. This should be your fourth one. You should be putting out awareness ads, um, getting thousands of views, and just building that overall brand. This is how you do it, you guys. So shout out to my buddy Danny. Shout out to my client Danny. I do my new best friend out there in Miami, Florida, crushing it. I'm gonna be taking them, holding them by the hand, and taking them step by step on how to run this ad, you guys. So take notes, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out weekly content, you guys, weekly videos on Facebook advertising, landing pages, sales funnels. So if you're trying to build a brand, if you're trying to learn how to target a certain area, a state, a city, subscribe to your boy's channel. Give me a like if you get any value from today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And comment below. Let me know what kind of business you guys are building, and let me know how I can help you online. Um, let me get Danny, and we'll go from there. Let's do this, bro. So here's what I always call, here's what I always do first. And here's what I call step one. Step one is posting the video on your business page first. Okay. That's what okay. you want to do. And the reason for, there's two ways to run a Facebook ad. And this applies for any, any type of ad, lead ad, awareness ad, whatever it engagement traffic. It's all the same. There's, there's uh -huh. two ways to do it. One way is where you post it on the business page first. Okay. And then, and then we go to the, to the bookmarks and then we run the ad. The second way is where you don't post it over here. Now you just download it to your computer, right? Now you have it in your, in your download folders. So mm -hmm. the second way to do it is when you just go straight into the ads manager and then pull the video from, from your files from there. Okay. The second way, it's not on the business page. The first way, it is on the business page. Okay. Right now, now both ways, it's, it's running from the business page. So when you even if you just say, you know what, David, I don't want to post it here. I'm just going to pull it from my download folder and I'll upload it to, to the ad manager there and, and 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 I'll just run it that way. It's still running from the business page. It's just not publicly 
viewable on the business page. If that, gotcha. if that and, yeah. and and that's that's what I don't like recommend. I don't recommend doing it that way where you're just the second way where you're just posting it, you're uploading it from your files and 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 that's it. Um, mm. I do it the first way. So I always teach post it here first, especially, mm -hmm. especially a video, especially a video. And, mm -hmm. the, and the reason for it is because you're about to spend money on it, right? You're about to run yeah. awareness. You're about to spend some money on it. You're about to get thousands yeah. of views, all local in Miami. And after the ad stops, that video, you want it to still be visible publicly on the page. So the next time, next month, next week, whatever, when people come back to the page and they see 5,700 views, that shit looks good. Yeah. But if you didn't post it here and you just ran it behind the scenes, mm -hmm. the moment that ad shuts off, it's off. It's nowhere to be found. Yeah. So if I got thousands of views on that video, okay, no one, no one, no one else sees it. Yeah. So I want them to come to the channel, bro, and just see videos. This is what you're shooting for. Yeah, the like count needs to increase for sure. But what you're really shooting for is when people land here, they could just scroll down and see a video, see a video, see a video. And every video has thousands of views. Yeah. Right. And 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 you're keeping it simple too. Freaking um, one every fifteen days. Now yeah. now one one every fifteen days or, or really two two weeks before your event. That that's hardcore lead, right? Even yeah. if it is a video, you're running a lead ad, a Facebook lead ad, and you're not going to really get thousands of views on on a on a on a video lead ad because yeah. it's not designed for that. It's not it's not yeah. set up for that. It's set up for leads. It's optimized for leads, and that's what Facebook brings you is leads. Yeah. In this case, just to have a bonus and just to have your your brand out there, awareness. Yeah. Awareness is okay. what's going to really build your brand overall. So so here, all you're going to do is click on photo right to the green. So step photo. one. Yeah, photo video. Mm -hmm. So step one is posting it here on the business page first. And mm -hmm. then step two is we go and publish the ad. And then step three, we create the custom audience. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. So, so here... You want to, um, yeah, click on add photos, videos. So as you click on that, you're going to be able to upload it from your, from your computer. You should see it here in your download folder or wherever you, wherever you put it. Um, yeah, it should be that top one. Awesome. And see if, yeah, see if that MOV file. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. See, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not always about lead ads, not at all, especially in, in your mm. business. Like, cause if all you're doing is lead ads, there's a lot of time in between these events. Yeah. So, so, so you gotta, you gotta keep the brand going and, and this sure. is how you do it with, with awareness. So for sure. the type, the text, all you're going to do is just write out what's going on. Hey guys, in today's video or Hey, Lo Hey Miami, this is, this is, this is, um, um, freaking, you, you always want to call it that audience, right? The three-step framework on, on what to even write and, and, mm -hmm. e and even what to even say in the video. Step one is always calling out your audience. Right, calling out the audience, letting them know that you're local. Hey, Miami, this is right. And, and so, number one is always calling out that that audience and let, and letting them know that that you're local as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. So I don't know if you want to say hey, hey, Miami, or or attention, Miami, or or some something along those lines where you're just yeah. calling them out. Right. So the first thing they see is Miami. Um. That's step one of, of of the three step, and then step two is just is just explaining what what's going on in the video. In today's video, I'm talking about this, this, and this, and this, okay. right? And then and then and then and then step three is just with an awareness ad. The call to action is not to click, right? The call to action is not to opt in. The call to action is just to hey, you guys, make sure you're 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 tuned into the page. Make sure that you're you're liking and following the page. We have a lot more content coming your way. So make sure, make sure you're, 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 you're following and, and, and making sure that you know what we're doing or something like that. Like just soft call to action is what I'm trying to say on, on awareness. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so this, is what we want to, we want to do is just, is, is write out this before anything. So bullet point number one, always calling out that avatar, calling out that local area. Um, mm -hmm. In today's video, we have we have retirement specialist, or, or, or not even we have, because that's kind of speaking um, from third party. In today's video, I'm breaking down, right, or something like that. In today's video, I'm showing you, or in today's video, I'm giving you this tip, or in today's video, I'm giving you the number one mistake to avoid, or in today's video, right? So something along those lines. 
So that right there, bro. Number one, calling out the audience. Number two, in today's video, letting them know what, what's going on in the video. And then number three, the call to action, right? Just the soft call to action. Make sure you watch the end and feel free to comment below with any questions you may have regarding a successful retirement strategy, period. And that's it, bro. That's it. Post that thing. And you can always update post. the text later. But but yeah, post it. Step one, post it on the business page first. Okay, so, and it may take a few minutes to get there, but in the meantime, yeah, see your post is being processed. We'll let you know when it's ready. So if the video is not too, too long, it should be here in the next in the next few minutes. So in the meantime, Perfect. let's do this now. So now um, hit the profile picture in the top right and just top. get out of this business account. Let's go back to the personal account. Top right. Yeah, hit the profile picture. Hit the Rick down below the Rick. Okay, so now um, we could just go. Yeah, see, your video is ready. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's stay in this account really quick. I'm going to have you add something really quick. Um, yeah, you didn't go to the Rick account. Okay, so now uh, click on... Rick account is his personal account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to go back to his, but 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 stay in his, in this admin account really quick. Click That's on right. videos right in the middle, videos. Let's add a title to the video real quick. So scroll down. You should see it. See, bro, this is, this is it. This is it. This is the play. You mm -hmm. guys got to be running these awareness ads. Yeah. You know, as you start to build out this this whole portfolio of videos right here, yeah. people are gonna people are gonna come here, bro. Like I'm telling you, I opted in, I filled out your form, I filled out your survey or whatever the hell it was, and you're now trying to physically get me to go somewhere. Yeah. But when I go to your business page, there's one like and no video content. Of course, yeah. Bro, I ain't showing up to the event. That's what I was worried about. Right. But but remember. David, I, 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 we still don't know how the marketing agency not having capital protection group anywhere. I just don't know how it makes sense for them not to even have a page of capital protection group. Or, I mean, they're they're a marketing agency that they market for financial advisors, so they have a main page. It has to come from a main page. Yeah. But I tried to kind of like to hack their stuff to see how, what they're doing and where it's coming from and the best that I could find was a page because you know how they archive the, the, the ads, right? They archive mm -hmm. based off uh, or whatever. And I went to that page where they're, where they were posting all these ads and the page had no content. It had nothing. Yeah. No likes, like barely any followers, no likes. It was just like, it was just super like no presence at all. So I was like, wait, how do, how do, how do they run these ads? But yeah, then have this Facebook page where they're running ads that, that have no, not much information at all. Well, so that's the part where I was like, what, what's, how do they do this? One way to do that is that, is that you actually know how to run the ad. And, and the second way mm -hmm. is, is you're spending a shitload of money. So you got to be spending a lot of money when, when you're just, when you're, when you're, when you're doing, when you're doing it that way, when you're doing it gotcha. that way, because, because gotcha. you, yeah, you have to be spending a lot, um, to force that lead, to force that, gotcha. to, to force Facebook to really bring you what you're what you're looking for, because they're not being sold on the page. Like, so it, it's all the ad. They're just good at they're just good at at putting together an ad. That's all. That's okay. all. And and you're and you're just barely learning. So mm -hmm. this right here, though, building a brand and 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 again, I can't I can't stress this enough, man. Like the difference between what they're doing and versus what you guys are now doing is you're going to, you guys are going to now actually build a brand. Yeah. You can actually educate the public, like educate your avatar, right? You're now, yeah. they can now come to your page and, and watch videos, bro. You know yeah. how powerful it is in your, in, in that phone call, for example, letting that person like, you know, that onboarding call or whatever you guys do, you know how powerful it could be. Hey guys. And by the way, make sure you, before the event, before this weekend event, before you get here, make sure you go to our Facebook page. We have a ton of videos that, that you can get educated on and, and really get to know who we are, bro. If you can send me here and I can see videos of Rick before I come to this event on Saturday. Yeah. That indoctrination. For sure. Bro. Like by the time I get to the event on Saturday, I'm going to psychologically, this is what indoctrination means psychologically i'm gonna feel like i know him i'm gonna feel like i can like i believe in him i'm gonna feel like i could mm -hmm. trust him mm -hmm. i'm gonna feel like i want to do business with him because yep. i watched five of his five of his videos that were part of the onboarding because True. danny told me to watch these five videos before i show up this weekend True. bro that's magic 
that's the conversion. Yep. Yep. You know, and, and, and that's why I tell people, especially like you that find me on YouTube, it's like, you didn't just see one video for three minutes and then reach out and give me a damn credit card. Like you had to have at least watched several videos, or maybe you watched a couple of videos and I have long form videos. So maybe mm -hmm. someone watched an entire hour of me. Yeah. And at that point, they're like, shit, this guy seems cool. Let me hit him up and let me see if he can help me. But the point is, is that you watched my video first before you reached For sure. out. For sure. Right. So now they're going to be able to come over here and watch videos first before they show up. And that's powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. That's a different lead. Yep. You know, that's a different lead. Yep. And that's why I do. I'm telling you, I'm going to just keep it real and be transparent. When someone finds me on YouTube and they reach out, I already know, bro. I already know that's a deal. Like, I already know. Like, when I spoke to you and you reached out, I already knew I was going to close you. Like, I already knew because of the indoctrination, because he's already yeah. watched me on video. He feels yeah. comfortable with me. Now, yeah. if he actually has the budget and has the money, I, I'm going to help him. Like, yeah. it's, I, I'm telling you, everyone that hits me up, bro, on YouTube, I already know it's a freaking deal. Because of because of the fact that they've seen me first and now and now they're reaching out. Sure. Right. So, so this is powerful, man. I can't like, so when people come here and they click on videos, you you just want a shitload of videos right here, bro. And and the, the powerful thing that we're doing now is that every video is going to be an ad, whether it was a lead ad, whether it was an awareness ad, but now there's going to be views on it. Right. Rather than coming mm -hmm. here and seeing 13 views, he yeah. got that other video, got 55 views. Like, no, bro, like yeah. these are going to have thousands of views now. Yeah. So it's only going to add to, to the credibility of, of you guys. Right. Yeah. Thousands of views. So, so, so click on, click on the video, <clears throat> click on the video and then let's, um, let's edit something really, really quick. So pause it. Look at that, bro. That's freaking awesome, dude. That's awesome. All you got to do is videos like that, bro. Like I'm telling you, 135 in front of the TV, you're recording. What are you, what are you holding the phone? Are you holding the phone? Yeah, I'm holding the phone. That's it, bro. Like I'm telling you, it's that powerful. So, so to the top right, the three dots, click on those three dots and come down and edit. <laughs> and David, before we do that, I tried, dude, I. I tried doing the Zoom stuff and I tried to give it like a, and it was, I guess it was kind of good that Rick busted his leg. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't know to. And during that time, I was trying to figure out, because I know you told me I could do the Zoom stuff, you know, like show mm -hmm. the PowerPoint, but I don't know what I was doing. And I was trying, and then I went down the rabbit hole, YouTube uh, videos and tutorial of how to record a Zoom presentation. What I couldn't figure out was the transitioning mm -hmm. between, you know, when you start off like with a big camera and then you transition to the PowerPoint. Like I found that I found that to be a little awkward because it took like three or four seconds to hit, you know, the PowerPoint and share screen and this. And I was like, all right, I already don't like this. And then the quality of the video, mm -hmm. like of your face, it's not the best. Okay. So I was just like the the cam huh? your webcam or your camera is probably not the best. I'm literally yeah doing, from the I'm computer. sharing my screen right now. I could easily have a PowerPoint right now. Or actually, you're sharing your screen, but but you're sharing your screen. You could mm. this is where your PowerPoint would be seen, and then and then our, our right. your video is right here in the corner. My face right here on video. That's all it is, bro. It's just sharing your screen. But it didn't. That, that I guess the camera of the computer. Yeah, the it camera just comes off blurry. Oh yeah, yeah, the camera quality. Like I have, I have, a, I have an okay camera here. That's why it's a little, it's it's cool. This is not my computer. Okay. Camera. This is this is a completely gotcha. different, different um webcam. So gotcha. yeah, so you definitely want a webcam. You could buy one hundred bucks, but I think mine was like eighty bucks on Amazon. Okay. So so get it, get a good a good webcam. Um, okay. And and then and then you could do you could do screen share just like this and and the quality and then also the microphone. The micro this is like a this is like a hundred dollar microphone on Amazon. So you don't gotta go crazy expensive at all. Like decent this is decent enough to to for the for the audio quality and, and for the camera. That's all you need, bro. Like this is all it's all you really need. But but how this, do you connect how do you connect the camera or the mic? Like let's say right now he's just in the room and the audio is just going straight into the phone. Yeah. Which I, I noticed that uh it's like it's, you can hear the echoing a little bit, but how do you connect yeah. a a mic? to the actual video or his voice. Well, there'd, you... there'd be a mic. There'd be a mic that you would, that you would, if you're doing on a cell phone, you'd need a wireless mm -hmm. mic. Yeah. So he, you would need a wireless mic if, if you're, if you're doing it on, on cell phone, but yeah. on a computer, my mic mm -hmm. is just plugged into my computer. I see. 
So you have the okay. built-in mic on your computer, and then you have, and then once you plug in a, a, a an external mic, then yeah. you just click and you choose for the audio to come from from the from the external mic, and that's it. Like so, my okay. my webcam's plugged into my computer. My mic is plugged into my computer, and I'm okay. on. Zoom. So, okay. so yeah, you'll learn the technical side, bro. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all, but click on, click on those three dots, <clears throat> click on the three dots in the top, right? The three dots down and then come down to edit. So edit post. And here's what you want to add. So scroll, scroll down to the video. And then right here, video options, click on video options. Top video, left, top, top left of the video. Left. Yeah. Scroll up a little bit. No top left of the video. Scroll up a little bit right here. Video oh. options. Okay, so this is the okay. title, this video title. This is what people see in the bottom left of the video. So as people are scrolling through the, th scrolling through the news feed, this little one-liner title, video title, is what they see at the bottom left. So here, mm -hmm. you want to put some type of, some type of, not call to action, but some type of like... Um, hook. Yeah, some kind of hook. So... Um, like some like if you're if you're if you're in Miami and 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 55 years old watch this video now or something like that like <clears throat> like like let's see what can you put here um that's it cuz again it's just a little one liner that sits at the bottom left of the video so number one retirement specialist in Miami that's it that's that's fine okay. say so that that's something you always want to do, right? So you got the ad copy at the top, the text, and then you got the video title. So if you refresh this page, refresh this page, here you'll see it in the top right hand corner as like as an actual title. But when it when it goes in the news feed, actually it's in there, it's there in the bottom left. Yeah, it's there in the bottom left. So that's what it'll, it'll look like in the ad as well. So so that's step one. Step one. Now let's go and let's go and set up the ad. So open up another tab. Um, actually, you know what? Get out of his per get out of the business admin. So hit the profile picture in the top right, and then come to the Rick page. Come to Rick. Okay, so now go to your bookmarks, and and go from here. So Facebook bookmarks. Facebook. Yeah, go to your go to your um your bookmarks. FB Business Manager. Yeah. Where do I go? Ads man. Go to Ads Manager. So we're gonna we're gonna go straight to the Ads Manager, and now now we're gonna set it up as as an ad. Okay, so all we're gonna do is now click on and and these blue ones. Um, Actually, I need to get rid of it. This is what I was trying to do this weekend. So yeah, what? So I could delete these, right? Yeah, you could delete them. You gotta do one at a time. Um, and then and then you gotta you gotta do it on each level the the campaign level, the ad set level, the ad level. So so. Yeah, you could just check the box. Just delete delete it from here. That's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now let's just click the green button. So this is what I call step two. Now we're going to publish the ad. <clears throat> so here we're going to go awareness. Awareness. So hit continue. And then um, now we'll go. And are you in any of these categories? The categories, hit that drop down categories. Are you guys in? No. You don't have to, you don't have to go with any of these? No. Nah. Yeah, employment house. Okay, cool. So we don't need any of that. So so give it a little title at the top. So here this will be um awareness. You can leave the word awareness. Actually, that's fine. But no, but but that's gonna be in parentheses. So put awareness in parentheses, and that's gonna be at the end. So to the left, name it something. So um video, like what what video is it? Like um video on, like you gotta really name these videos now, so that way you know what video it is not just the word video. So video, yeah, single, perfect, perfect, perfect. Video, single verse joint, awesome, perfect. And then in parentheses, you're putting the objective that you chose, which was awareness. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the objective in parentheses. Okay, cool, perfect. Hit next, and that's it, man. That's it for, for, for the campaign level. And then now we just go to the ad set level right here. And so now we're gonna, we'll, we'll name it at the top once we do everything below. Um, so- maximize reach of ads this awareness mm -hmm. is for views right we just want mm -hmm. to get views and the whole objective with with awareness is to get thousands of views and capture the audience of those that watched 15 seconds of it 
That's the gotcha. whole objective. Okay? okay. So that's that's step three is creating the custom audience. So we'll do that right okay. one this part. So now we're going to okay. scroll down. So we we performance goal, leave that as is. There's the Facebook page. We're good there. Click on more, um, the blue more. So down here, so impressions, that's fine. Perfect. So scroll down. Okay, cool. So now the budget. So you can change that budget. What's what's the daily? Is it five bucks a day, ten bucks a day? Like what's your daily? What do you recommend? I think I think you said twenty bucks a day would be good, or was it ten? Yeah, you can go twenty a day, and you you would crush it. Twenty a day, bro, would freaking you'd have thousands of views on this. So so here's how how right. you want to do it instead. Rather than doing twenty daily, how long do you plan on running it for? Whatever you say, I don't know. Well, it it, it doesn't. Well, I actually, I mean, I wanted to to remind you that our our. Or I don't know if you, I don't even know if this matters. I know that this is going to help us regardless, but the seminar is on the 9th of April. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if we can still run this while we start pr like putting stuff up for the seminar. Does this? I don't. I don't know what. So that's, you wanna... that's April 9th. You said April 9th. April 9th. Um, yeah. Do we right? stop this ad. At one point, or do we let it run till the end of? I mean, I know that we could let this run forever, right? But I don't know if you well, know, just, since the seminar is coming, do we want to keep it running for two weeks, and then once the seminar approaches, then we run the seminar stuff, right? That's, that's well, you plan on have. you plan on running the 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 lead ad two weeks before the seminar. Is that mm, what you're what you planning on no, doing? No, no. I mean, no. We don't have to. No. Um, we Run were pretty much just going to start putting up the ads right around where the, the agency, because remember, we're still working with the agency. So we're kind of like trying to go alongside with how the agency runs it, but they, they usually do it two weeks before. But I mean, if you, okay, if you say yeah. otherwise, then. No, that's fine. Whatever, whatever working on that lead site, that's fine. Two weeks before, but I'm just trying to see like how long, so maybe run this till the 31st. Okay. Or, or um, Yeah, run it to the thirty first. Run it to the thirty first. So, does it, so just does it get in the way? Like, let's say if if this we run this now, mm -hmm. and we run it while the seminar is approaching or during the seminar, does it get does it mess anything up? Does no, it, does it get in the way with the 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 seminar? No, it doesn't. It doesn't get in the way. Yes. Um, no. but at the same time, like that dollar, it it should just be spent on the seminar. So, so you don't want, you don't need two ads going at the same time, one awareness and one lead, just, just do the lead. So if this is awareness for right now, then just run it, run it for the next 13 days, which takes you to the 31st and then shut it off. And then my next dollar goes just towards lead ads. Okay. Got it. You know, so, so run this to the, to the end of the month, run it to the end of the month. So down below and, and what you're going to do is you're going to start it. Let's see. It's still fairly it's still fairly early. Your time. Um, I think so. Well, oh, it's early time afternoon. Time. Oh. It's early afternoon. Normally, I have the ad start the next day at six a.m. Um, I think we still have time. Or I don't. Why don't, I, you, yeah. why don't you? Why don't you? Well, here's the deal. Here's the reason why I always started the next day at six a.m. Because Facebook's gonna gonna take a little while to approve the ad. So. So let's say, for example, the ad doesn't approve until, until let's say the ad doesn't approve until 4 p.m. your time. Facebook is going to, because of the way you have it set up daily, which I'm going to have you change. But if you left it this way, here's what ends up happening. That, that ad approves at 4 p.m. From 4 p.m. to midnight, they're going to spend that 20 bucks because yeah. you're, you're in today's budget. Right, yeah. even though there's only X amount of hours left in today, in a 24 hour day, it's gonna spend all that because you because your day ends at 12 at 12 a.m. So that's why you just go lifetime. Go lifetime budget. So it's 20 times 13. What's 20 times 13? Um 20 times 13 is 260. So the lifetime is 260. So that way, no matter what. Whenever Facebook does approve it, it's not based on a twenty. It's not date based on a daily. It's not. It's not based on a date. So change that right. fifty. The three fifty. Change that to two sixty. Two sixty. 
Okay. Perfect. And then and then the 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 start time. Why don't you why don't you, why don't you push that out? Push that out to um um it could be the eighteenth, but the time. Change that time to 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 six p.m. Hopefully they approve it by six. Yeah, go six p.m. Okay, and then April eighteenth. Change that. That's March thirty first, and then do the same six p.m. Now our audience controls. We want to change that worldwide, that location. Change that out. Edit, and then just go Miami. So just X out worldwide, and then you could just type in, type in Miami. And then down below, yeah, city is what you're shooting for. Perfect. And that's that's 25 miles around. So is that yeah. is that is that I mean, is that where you want it, or do you want to bring that down, that 25? We... Well, people drive 25 miles. Like one, one really, way to target yeah. this, right? One way to target this is by typing in the city Miami. Another mm -hmm. way to tar to target it is to actually type in the physical location. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you can target, if you can run an ad ten miles within the location of where you're, where where people are physically trying to get to, like that, that that would make more sense, right? So, do you know the address 20, of where this 20, is? the seminar? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't. I mean, I I can get it. Do we? So 20 miles perfect that it, and and so whatever your targeting is here's another thing too stick to it mm -hmm. like stick to it that's why you gotta you really want to know the location because you don't want to bounce back and forth like you want to just penetrate this one area from this point on okay right so so miami is the city and 20 miles um is is the is the radius so perfect so okay. scroll down scroll down so now let's go to the ages so click on um audience suggestion yeah click on that one and then here is your age. So change that out. Perfect. And then and then custom audiences. See, this is where your custom audiences would would go. Like click inside custom audiences. You don't have you don't have any yet, but but this right here, this is where actually you have the you have the lookalikes, but those are not not um not not audiences you want to retarget at all can so we as get you, rid of that yeah you could we could we could delete those not from here but right. from the other page but but this is where you'll be able to click and see all these audiences bro so as you build up your video portfolio as you build up and start posting all these damn videos every yeah. video is going to have a custom audience and so as you get onto ad number 10 you'll see nine audiences that nine past videos that you guys done and and there's those are audiences. So now I'm on ad number ten. I'm retargeting. I would choose each one. Video number one. Video number two. This is video number one that we're doing right now. But imagine if we already did nine of them, you would see nine videos right here that I'm going to retarget, retarget, retarget all of them. Gotcha. That's that's how people start to freaking get to know you, man. So when they do show up, they're ready to buy. That's gotcha. that's the magic that you guys you guys have been missing. It's just that that credibility, because. You have it. I would. I would assume that you guys have it locally. Maybe people in Miami know you guys. You guys, Rick's been doing this for a long time. He's successful, and people know that locally. But on social media, bro, no one knows you. So yeah, back to yeah. how the agency's running it with no credibility on the page. I don't know how they're doing that either. You got to be spending a shitload of money to be forcing that lead because it's not the page that's selling people. It's not. It's not the credibility of any videos on there, right? So. This is just this is just the way I want to I want to lead you is is, is you know credibility. When you say they're spending uh, a ton of money, right? Because it's it's a it's a fixed amount up front. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not like they're saying, yeah, just we're gonna run ads and we're gonna give you the invoice at the end. We don't know the amount. Let's say it's a fixed amount, right? It usually pays I don't know like four grand or something, four mm -hmm. or five grand. So by you saying they're 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 putting in tons of money on ads, it's the amount per day, right? Or the lifetime budget. Yeah, it's the same. Or the lifetime budget. Yeah, it's the same dollar. So, but but yeah. So like let's say they have four thousand to play with. You're 
like I, I guess I don't know. I'm just trying to get an idea. If if they don't have any presence or no page or anything, are would you be saying? Would you say that they're putting like four hundred dollars a day on it ads? It could be hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred a day. Hell yeah. So therefore, okay. Facebook's just shown it to way more people. That's all it really mm -hmm. is. So if I okay. have a decent ad, if I have decent ad copy, and I'm spending more than my competition. Facebook yeah. is to simply simply show it to more people. That's all the budget is. The budget just okay. dictates how many people actually are reached. That's it. Okay. So okay. everyone's spending a different amount. That's yeah. why, like, unless you know what they're spending, then then you can somewhat assume. But a lot of times we just think our comp our competition is doing all this shit when when we don't even really know what they're what they're what they're spending. And yeah. and I, I'm willing to bet if you're saying they're successful, I'm willing to bet they're spending a shitload. They're just mm -hmm. outspending you. That's all. So if I'm going to outspend you, my ad's going to be seen by more people. And so if mm -hmm. my if my ad is seen by more people, it's just the law of numbers at that point. If I'm if I'm if I'm being seen by way more people, and you're being seen by a little amount of people, let's say one percent opt into your shit, one percent opt into my shit, but my shit is bigger. My audience yeah. is way bigger. So so yeah, we're both getting that one percent opt in. I'm just getting it on an audience of freaking 500,000 people and you're getting it on an audience of 5,000. Yeah. That's all it is, dude. So it's not okay. like there is, yeah, it's not like their ads are better. It's not like anyone's ads are better. Yes and no, but but our ads could be just as good. It comes down to the yeah. freaking amount, the amount that you're spending. Yeah. So on this awareness, you don't need to spend a shitload on awareness. 20 yeah. a day, great on awareness. That's all we need on awareness. But yeah, once it starts coming to leads, yeah, dude, that's when you want to pour it on. Pour it on, okay. like like yeah, you're gonna have to pour it on, and you're gonna want to pour it on, pour it on. You okay. know, so 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 here, this is just future. What you're building up is your custom audiences. So click away. Yeah. From, let's go down. So advantage placement, advantage placement. Leave it on, leave it on advantage placement. Um, leave it on advantage placement. Let Facebook just place it everywhere. That's fine. Um, normally on lead ads, we'll go manual placement, and we'll pick and choose where we want the where we want Facebook to actually put the ad. And yeah. so a lot of times manual placement is, is, is where we just tell Facebook, just put it in the newsfeed, like just, just put it right in the newsfeed, right? That that's, that's manual placement, but let on the okay. video on awareness, let, let's let Facebook put it everywhere. That's advantage. Okay. okay. So, okay. so, so, so that's what we did. That's all we did in the ad set level. So scroll up, scroll up. All we're going to do is give it a title. Let's abbreviate what we just did. So, so start with the budget, put 260 lifetime, 260 lifetime. Take away that whole new awareness. Delete all that. 260 lifetime dash um, dash Miami 20 miles dash. Um, actually, what's the key? We didn't put in any keyword. And, and in fact, you know what? Let's not even put in a keyword. In the interest uh, targeting, the, the keywords, let's not even put in any words. If you're anyone that's above the age of 55, mm -hmm. they're going to see this. Okay. They don't necessarily have to be interested in retirement or invest or investing. They don't have because if you put keywords, all you're going to do is just narrow in that reach even further. Yeah, and I just truly believe twenty miles, Miami, fifty five. That's already enough narrowing. Like if you narrow it too too hardcore, then the audience becomes too too small. Yeah. So 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 just no keywords. Two sixty lifetime dash Miami twenty miles dash fifty five plus. And that's all, that's all we did here. Um, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. And the importance of titling it like, like this is so when you're on the dashboard, you can just look at the ad. You can scroll down, look at all these damn ads and know exactly what ad that is. You don't have to click on it. You don't have to, oh, well, what were we spending? Or what did we target again? Was it 20 miles? Was it 25? Dude, just read the damn yeah. title. Right? So it just saves you time on having to click and get into it and, and, and try to micromanage the ad. You just, okay. just read the title and that's it. So that's it. So scroll down. That's it, bro. That's that's the second step, the ad set level, where you choose your budget, you choose your targeting, you choose any keywords if, if needed, which is the detail targeting right there. That's detail targeting. That's where you would have put in keywords. But, mm -hmm. but I'm saying in this case, it's not needed. Um, it's not needed at all because, yeah, it's not needed at all. Detail targeting is when you're is when you're running ads to the entire country. When you're running ads to the entire country and you're and you're and you're targeting maybe 18 plus, right? It's not 55, it's actually 18 to 65, and you're and you're freaking selling, you know, hats online. 
Maybe yeah. you want to narrow it to just men, but that's when you for sure want to put detailed targeting. You'll put, you know, baseball hats. You'll put freaking, right, keywords like that because I'm running to the entire country and I need Facebook to narrow it in a little bit. But when you're targeting local, you don't need detailed targeting. Okay, so so that's it. So hit next, next. And then the last step, bro, the last step is the ad. And so now because we posted it on the business page first, now we don't have to we don't have to come over here and, and write anything. We don't have to upload it. Everything is already there. So so at the very, very top, new awareness ad, just do the same thing. Video, single versus joint couple. And you don't have to put anything in parentheses. Um, just video, single versus joint couple. That's it. Okay, cool. And then don't worry about the little air to the right. We're going to cl clear that up right now. So video, single versus joint couple. Okay, so yeah, just fix the word video and then and then you're good. That's it. Okay, so scroll down. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So scroll down. Okay, so now there's the Facebook page, Instagram account. Um, do you have an Instagram account tied to this? Click, hit that drop down. No, we don't. Okay, so there's no Instagram account. Okay, cool. So scroll down and then add setup. Here, right here, create ad. That's, that's, that's the second way to do it, where you're just going to upload the video from your files, right? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then write out everything over here. But we already did that. We already did all that. We put on the page first. Wait, baby, give me a sec. David, give me a sec. Something. Hold on. Oh, God. So now hit that drop down, create ad. Now we're going to, we're going to hit this and we're going to use existing post, right? We posted it on the business page first. So now we're going to use existing post. Click on that one. Okay. Now scroll down, hit select post. And you'll find that post right there. Okay. So click on that one, hit continue. And that's it, bro. Hit continue. And now the text is already there. Everything is everything is optimized, ready to go. Um, so now scroll down. And so when it comes to this part down here, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So primary text, all that is there, right? So so we don't need to worry about any of that. Scroll down, keep going, keep going down. Okay, so so now here, down here, keep going, keep going, keep going. We don't need any of this. The call to action button, go ahead and add, just go ahead and add the send message button for now. That's fine. People can send a message if, if anything, but but it's not gonna really, it's not, you're not gonna get messages because it's not yeah. it's not a message ad. But but you could put it there just to put it there. So update post. And now scroll down on the right hand side, scroll down below the video, you'll see the button. Yeah, right. Right where that video is at, you keep going. You want to scroll down? Yeah, that's fine. So just oh, there, there we there go. It is. See, so look, the video title: Number One Retirement Specialist Miami. So it just it just fit right. If we wrote another word, then it would just it would have been dot dot dot, and and you you can't read the whole thing. Which you could have wrote a long sentence if one wanted to, but but I want it to right. be whatever that that one thing is. Just make sure it all shows right there, right? And that's perfect. Number One Retirement Specialist in Miami. That's it. That's perfect, man. So now, so the tracking, none of this website events, offline events, the pixel, that's the pixel, the green dot, C, CPG leads, um, which I don't even know. Hey. I don't even know why why it would be named that. Um, no, so that's not the pixel. And this is why, I don't know yeah. why. And I had texted on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I saw the same thing in uh, while well, doing the like ad. So yeah. I don't, I don't know. I went over here and then it yeah, gave but, me this stuff. So I was kind of confused. So this is the five, seven, zero is mm -hmm. the pixel that we had used for the lead ads. Okay. Okay. But the pixel in this case is not even, it's not even um, needed. So don't even worry about this oh, for the awareness. Okay. Yeah. So okay, we're okay, gonna, okay. yeah. So that could read something else for now. We'll fix that later once we actually go into lead ads, but yeah, don't even worry about any of this. All the tracking is going on, on, on the video on Facebook. So Okay. Just clicking, going to a landing page. The pixel is necessary if you're getting people to click and go to a landing page. That's when that pixel better be the right one. But but in this case, with awareness, we don't we don't need that. We so don't need. We'll fix that hey, later. David, um, it's I I just asked Rick the description of the video. Mm -hmm. It's about leaving your spouse your IRA. Okay. Uh, okay. that's fine. We'll update it here. That's fine. That's fine. We'll update it here in a second. So hit publish. Okay. Hit publish. 
and, that, and, and we can change the words yeah bro we'll change okay. all that later but hit publish because okay. i gotta get going we got we got we okay, still okay. Do another step. so hit publish i'll show you how to okay. do all that later before it goes live uh, so 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 bro. now that's a facebook awareness ad okay that's from a to z bro that's a to z on how to run a facebook awareness ad now the last step because there's three steps step one is posting on the business page first writing out the right text right that's yeah. number one number two is coming over here and publishing it and when you publish the ad you always want to make sure that it goes green in the bottom right right multiple items published make sure that's green if it's red there's some error and you in facebook will just have you click on view details and you'll just update gotcha. these. but that's okay green, so you're good so now x on the top left x out of this window here in the middle yeah right there perfect and the third final step is to now create the custom audience so you for here you can go to your bookmarks in the top left and just come down to custom audiences <clears throat> And now we want to create the audience because as this ad goes live, there's now going to start. Now people are going to start being a part of this audience. People are going to be yeah. watching X amount. So yeah. here's what we're going to do now. Create audience. And we're going to name yeah. the audience, custom audience. We're going to name it exactly what we named the, the campaign. So here you're going to go video and then hit next and then hit engagement, hit the drop down. These are all the different timestamps. So as I put out a minute and a half video, I can create an audience of those who watched it for three, 10, 15, 25%, 50%. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and so yeah. this is where the magic is at, bro. So, so on the internet, on the internet, from, from a tracking um, point of view, yeah, we're being tracked mainly on two, mainly from two different data sources. Number one, we're being tracked watching someone's video, especially if that video was an ad. That's one data point. That's one way they're tracking, they're tracking, they're tracking it. Now, Facebook's not giving them your name and number, so you don't have to worry about privacy issues or anything like that. You don't got to worry about nothing negative. It, mm. This is freaking. This is this is amazing. So, but 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 as far as the, the the way we're being tracked, video, and then number two is is our website. So as people click and your pixel is on that website, that's data mm. point number two. It's really those okay. two ways, bro. So as consumers on the internet today, as we go through the social media and we see ads from different random shit, it's because yeah. you either watch someone's video. For at least yeah. seconds, ten seconds, or fifteen seconds, or you clicked on someone's website. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that's why. Yeah. Yeah. So, so here, I always recommend fifteen seconds because the higher you go up, the smaller that audience is going to be. Hmm. Right. It'd be okay. great to create an audience of those that watch ninety-five percent of it, but but the 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 honest truth is you're going to have like ten people there. Yeah. You're going to have like a mm, hundred sure. people in that audience that actually watched 95% of it. And, right. and, 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 and although that's cool and, and I'm just using these numbers as, a, as an example, but it's going to be a small audience is what I'm saying. It's going to be a small audience versus having a, an audience of those that watched 15 seconds of it. Yeah, for sure. And 15 seconds is enough time to watch something yeah. online for at least 15 seconds. That's enough time. So when I see, right. see another ad coming from that company, I'm going to recognize them. When I see Rick, on his next video, I'm going to recognize him just from 15 seconds of watching his last one. Yeah. Right. So, so do 15 seconds. 15. Okay. And then choose videos in the top right. And all you're going to do is find that video. So you'll see it right there. Okay. So now hit confirm. And the retention 365, that's fine. You can, you can leave that. You can leave that 365, but the audience name, go ahead and give it the same name that you gave that you gave the campaign, which was um, video single verse joint or something like that. Yeah. Right. So, so I'm naming the, the audience the same. I'm naming um, the campaign the same. Right. And, and if this was a lead ad, I'd be, I'd be naming the, the custom conversion the same. Right. Okay. So, so, Video single verse joint couple and then in parentheses in parentheses, fifteen seconds. Okay, so so now you know exactly what video that is. You know exactly hit create audience, and you know exactly the timestamp. This is an audience of those hit done. This is an audience of those that watched the single verse joint video for at least fifteen seconds. Hit done. Okay, and that's it, bro. That is a full blown Facebook awareness ad. Post on the business page first. Number one. Number two. Publish mm -hmm. in the ad. Number three, mm -hmm. create your custom audience. And that's it, bro. Okay. So any questions on any of that? No. Awesome.